welcome back to the vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching. We did not vlog on, fr we didn't put a vlog up on Friday um, because we, I don't know, we just didn't feel like it. But, you know, everybody needs their time off. But, <laughs> last time. Okay, so today we went thrifting unintentionally. Um, I wanted a treadmill and Sam's mom texted us and said that there was one at the thrift store that's like kind of close to our house. And so while we were there, we found this awesome treadmill, 20 bucks. Thought I turned the light up. 20 bucks and it folds up like all nice. I used it. I was pouring sweat. It's so good. It's very sturdy, 20 bucks. But while we were there, I wanted to go inside and look around and I found the most beautiful Polish china set for a hundred bucks. And it's a 50, 52, 52 piece set. So I've been hand washing everything. Look at how gorgeous. hundred bucks for 52 pieces. So it has like regular dinner plates and it's got smaller ones. These are for teacups. Like I am so in love and we have to figure out where they're gonna what, Salem? go now. Something's wrong with him. He, he, like, he just started pitching a fit a minute ago and whining. Do you know what it might be? No, I went in there and picked him up, and he was all for it. And I fed him, and it's just one. Salem. Sally, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, sweet boy? Hey, what's wrong? You want loving? Don't bite me. So yeah, we just have to figure out like what's where we're gonna put these. But I am so in love with them. So it's like eight dinner plates, eight bowls. Um, and then there's 12 teacups. So in love. There's not that many of those bowls either, are there? No, I like think there's six. Six of them or five of them? Oh, I no, think there's, there's only five. five. It's probably just like Some stuff. probably got broken, yeah. I mean, it was a thrift store, but I will take it. They are beautiful. I told Sam, I said, we are hosting Friendsgiving or something here because, oh no, there's six of them. So I need to use these. Oh, just stunning. I still can't believe it. Ooh, and I'm gonna break them. They're only like 15 dollars. So, let me show you guys. I have a countdown. Hold on, here's my phone. I have an ulcer coming up in my mouth. It's not good. Correction, I have an ulcer and it really hurts. Okay. Need to get rid of that before I get my braces off. Look. Three days and 14 hours until your girl is brace fee free. I am so excited. I'm planning on doing a, like, in, it'll be in Wednesday's vlog like kind of a recap on my braces because I get a lot of questions. Do you think it's worth it? Um, why did you do that versus Invisalign? Someone asked me, do I think Invisalign's right for them? And I was like, girl, designer, go ask your orthodontist that stuff. Um, so I just plan on talking about all that in like Wednesday's video. I mean, that won't be all it is, but I will do a recap on Wednesday when my braces come off and just kind of share my process. So I'll talk about my orthodontist a little bit, who he is, where he's located. Oh, oh, oh. I have a um, meeting with our, uh, what's it called? Furniture meeting with like our whole furniture staff on Friday. So I really am gonna be honest, I don't know if there will be a vlog on Friday. There might be. But, I mean, I'll be gone all day, so it would just be Sam. It's up to him. Guess 
this chunker's weight? Sam? Oh. Oh. That chunker is probably about 80 pounds right now. I know, he is. You should go weigh him. Tell me, how much does this fat girl weigh? Ooh, you're being rude. How much does she weigh, baby? She's like 16 pounds this morning. A little over 16 pounds. She got feline diabetes. 16 pounds. This, this is a monster. And you know what's so funny when we got her? She's not a monster, she's just fat. Sam lived in the dorm. And I found her and we literally put her in my purse. I was carrying a tiny crossbody at the time. She was so little, I threw her in my bag, and just carried her in real quickly so no one would see us. And we go inside and his roommates were like, call her Princess Monster Truck. And like, to this day, I think that's what Matt still like refers to her as, is like Princess well, Monster they, Truck. They wanted her to be Brown Sugar Lust. Oh yeah, one of them wanted her to be Brown Sugar Lust. And we were like, her a hooker name. no. <laughs> so, then, so then they said, okay, what about Princess Monster Truck? And they will still, DG and Matt will still call her Princess Monster Truck to this day. And so I always was like, no, she needs a girl name. So she's Allie the Alley Cack. She was literally found in an alley. I'd be dang if Monster Truck was not an accurate, like, depiction of her size. Like, we should have just run with it and just called her Monster Truck Alley. I think I'll sleep tonight. I'm drinking my husband's tea now. Why are you drinking my tea? Here's mine. What's mine is yours? Had coffee, napped. What's what? Talk about this. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna find my dishes. I know they have. Okay. Hello, friends. So I just got back from shopping. I'm wearing my new coat around the house. Um, what is wet all over this counter, babe? I don't know. You, and I make a mess. Okay. You need to come clean your mess. I Hi. Say, you walk in this house and the internet starts doing mess. All right. Let me show you my coat. Yeah, I've always been told that I have a bad, like, what's that called? Like, electro, whatever. Signal runs through my fingers because every time I walk into any place, the internet shuts down, computers stop working. So look at this coat I bought, you guys. I'm... I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so I've been wanting one of these coats from, I don't care where it came from, forever. But I had two things I wanted. I wanted it to be this like off-white ivory color and I wanted it to have pockets. And I finally found one at H&M. It's like a, I think it's called just like a low pile coat and it's got a slit, I'll link it in the description bar below. But. I just went and did a H&M like shop with me slash try on haul and it was very successful. If you are not subscribed to my main channel, go subscribe now. But this was one of the coats that I found. Let me show it to you guys in a full. Speaking of my shelter kitty, Doug, what are you doing? What are y'all doing in here? <laughs> Can you believe someone had her in a shelter? She's so beautiful. I'm getting distracted. I'm very distracted today. Look at how cute. It's got on my bean boots because it's very rainy. And then a, just like a gray sweater. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love it. And it's perfect timing that I found it because I'm going to Wisconsin next week. I'm so tired. Mm. Say hello. Hello. You're sleepy. Sam's making dinner while I am starting to edit like this vlog and then 
videos. I think I might just make it. Baby, what, what, what is, what? Oh my gosh, you're making this yummy. Chicken fettuccine Alfredo. So yummy. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quickly. I'm sorry if I'm talking weird. I have an ulcer or a burn or something in my mouth. I think it's burn. Um, I wanted to show you guys. Let me sit on the floor for this. Easier. So. Sorry, I look like death. Um, my nails have started popping off, and I get a lot of questions on how I take them off. I always just, I think you should watch another video, someone else's, because the way that I take them off is not good. It's not, it's not good for your nails, but it's easy, and it's quick, and it doesn't hurt. So, I've had these on for like nine, 10 days, I think, at this point. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like something like that. And they start lifting off of your nail bed at about a week, I'd say yesterday. So they lift off your nail bed. So like I can literally just take my nail and pop it off, like the whole thing. And it really does not hurt like at all. And I know that's so bad for you and people are probably cringing but, I mean, it's just fast. And if there ever is a time when I want to take them off and I can't get it off, I will take, like, nail clippers. And um, I'll pinch, like, the side or whatever. Wherever it's, like, the loosest, I'll pinch the side of it and it'll just pop right off. I mean, this is literally how they do it at the Dagum Nail Salon. Like, they will take... If you don't ask them to soak them off, they will literally just take a nail and rip off. Like they used to rip off my acrylics. That hurt. So see, that's literally it. That's all, it's all it takes. I only have two, three more sleeps until I get my braces off. I've been telling Sam like all day. I'm like, three more sleeps. Three more sleeps until I get my braces off. That's it, that's all I gotta do. And then I'm going to probably put the lightest color on them tonight. They're pretty long. I don't know if you guys can see. Pretty long um so i'm just gonna edit god i'm so tired this video so this vlog and tuesday's video are my top priority right now and then i'm just gonna do my nails and i think that's really it <laughs> bye <laughs> i wish i could do the voice there's a, a i can't think of his name but he plays moriarty in the sherlock holmes um tv show that's on here yeah the character that does it he does this like it's an intentionally like overly gay voice that he does and it is hilarious. No, like in the show he like says that he fakes being gay and that's like part of his character for one of the things. Like that's the point is like he is like Weird. He does the like overly flamboyant like you know he's doing it for the attention kind of thing. It's pretty funny though. Well, you can say bye guys then. However you give it your best shot. So yeah, deuces. No, deuces. give it your best shot. He's so just like not in the mood these days. Oh well. All right, guys, we are out. This vlog has been ow, ow. Get your demon feet off me. You are uh, hurting me. <laughs> another uneventful vlog, but that is a okay. Oh, I redid my nails, by the way. I did them. They look like purple, but they're like a dark gray. Pretty. So. Peace, as Sam says. We'll see you guys. What day is it? Monday, when this vlog goes up. Next vlog, I'll be getting my braces off. <laughs>